good day, I represent to you a promotional video entitled Digital Resources. In terms of DLRS or Digital Learning Resources, it refers to a digital resources such as applications, software, programs, or websites that engage students in learning activities and support students' learning goals. How digital assessment tools help teachers deliver better learning experience? Online educational technologies are gaining speed year by year. Students get more and more convenient with them, and paper testing is losing its importance and necessity when we talk about knowledge evaluation. So, learning management systems and feedback tools. These digital instruments are aimed to provide students with fast and fair assessments directly after taking a test. The tools were highlighted here are divided into three categories that serve to boost 21st century skills. In the first section, we feature some of our most popular tools for live video conferencing and pre-recording lessons now whether you're just getting started with virtual classroom meetings or you're looking for more tips and tricks to help make your future meetings and lessons more engaging with some resources that can help. It also includes tutorials on two screencasting tool that can assess you in developing high-quality pre-recorded video lessons. The second section focuses on digital tools to support collaboration and creativity. Online learning shouldn't just act as replacement for traditional paper-pencil tasks, nor should it rely on students simply consuming media, a practice games, and watching videos. The tools highlighted here will help level up your online classroom with options for designing, creating, thinking, and building while increasing connection and encouraging collaboration with peers. In the third section, addresses a critical question for online teachers that is how can I enable these digital tools to support formative assessment. So here we focus a bunch of engaging options for gamification tools, you know, for fun quiz competitions and options for embedding assessment right into a lesson that can then inform later instruction. We had here the advantages of digital resources. First, interactive resources can provide students with feedback. Digital resources can create a varied learning experience. Digital resources are flexible. The student can pause, fast forward, or rewind them reflecting their own preferences. Digital resources are asynchronous. The learner can assess them at any time, not just in the classroom. And its disadvantages is technology problems and the need more expensive equipment may inhibit student access. Interactive resources can be more expensive to license or create. Digital records can be more challenging to update than, say, a reading list. Digital resources can take longer to review than, say, a text which can be quickly skimmed. Video clips can degrade over time or unless they are saved in specific formats that require particular software.